Hi everyone and welcome to Game Club. And today, well we've all got itchy feet because we can't travel thanks to Covid and now we'll be playing the game Itchy Feet. Join us as we play Itchy Feet and travel the world. So I'm going to start with a uh, unboxing. Um, and I'll just flip this over and I'll just have to open up the little seals here. This is brand new as always and so the joys of just making sure that we've got everything opened. Um, okay. Right, so first things first, the box, and I think it's really nice. Really, I love, I love the old sort of travel luggage box. I think that's really well um, put together in keeping with the type of ethos of the game. You've got your instruction guides, and then you've got your uh, travel cards here. And I'll just turn over, and you've got your lovely itchy feet cards, which are very well put together, look nice, uh, good quality. Your character cards. Um, very nice as well and then you've got your location destination cards and then you've got your rule cards which are quite good as well and I, I just I like the detail on the cards I must admit I think it's really really well done anyway now what we'll do is we will uh, join together and we'll play and then we will review itchy feet itchy feet now I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you and say one big thing about itchy feet the instruction booklet I find actually is very clear, uh, very concise and basically allows you to play the basic version of the game and then the more comprehensive versions of the games or as they call it the extensions and those outlined on the back here as well. Now I'll show you just the basic game. The best way to set up the game is very simple. Take out anything with this symbol on it. So there's a little plus symbol here. Remove anything with that for the first time you play the game. So that includes all of these cards as well. Um, and effectively also what you want to do is you just you want to oh, I'll put that there. You want to also get rid of all of the character cards as well because they're more advanced as well. Once again they do have the plus on it as well. Now you want to keep all of these cards and you want to give these a very good shuffle. And I'm going to show you just a quick round so you can understand. We're going to have three players involved, but I'll just shuffle these quickly. So they're now shuffled, I'll put them there. They won't stay there, but uh, and then you want to shuffle your passports, do them first way round, and then we'll dish these out to each player. So there's going to be one player on this side who is one, two, and three. There, okay. I'm going to put these over here now. Then you've got your locations. Now they're double sided, so for instance, China, Papua New Guinea, the Antarctic, North Korea, France, and Morocco, etc. etc. Um, easiest way of doing it is just literally just shake them up. You can ask people if there's particular destinations they want to go to, but you generally find that most people don't really care. So the central location, that's that goes in the centre where everyone's trying to get to, and that's India in this example. Um, then each player gets one each, so one for Morocco. Um, I have seen where where we played it once where people asked to see if they could see the flip side as well or you can play basically try and capture the flip side if you wish but North Korea and then we've got one for Mexico as well there now I'm going to use Thailand to illustrate the game quickly to you so basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get these items here uh, you probably can just about make out so in this card for instance with Thailand you're looking for language beach and tourism cards and if I turn this over for the other one Egypt you're looking for language beach and tourism so they're both exactly the same there are other things you can get as well though you get party for instance um, you've got adventure and I'll just see if I can make that symbol a bit clearer there you go adventure there transport beach you've got um, tourism transport beach and then you've got cold adventure transport and that's Scotland which um, I think is a very interesting way of defining Scotland. Anyway, what effectively happens is each round it goes like this. You each player can take a card, so they've got these actions. This action card will come next to you as well. 
it's actually really clear but it takes just a, a diddy bit of explaining and just on the back is the travel selection on how you pass the travel but what effectively happens is you draw a card so you'll draw a card each player will draw a card now you can recycle a card and that costs you have to discard two cards and you can take one card from the discard pile now cards get discarded as they're used as well as also dumped when for instance you do the next one which is to trade any cards with one player you, you draw one card uh, you can steal cards you discard one card and then basically you take one card from your opposing player you may choose who that is um, and then you've got the travel as well it's pretty simple so one 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 and just to outline I'm just gonna move that out of the way um, but just outline here so we've got a language card here and there is a language requirement there so they've got one of those already you can just see it so you can see that um, you need the passport obviously to do that uh, to, to travel but I'll, I'll get to that in just a second um, now unfortunately if you see this gentleman here or this player here has got a food one and there's no food on there so effectively that's worthless and this guy here has got a beach one and there is a beach symbol so that's quite useful then we go around again and we go sandcastles he's got another beach which is not so useful uh, food once again his is completely pointless at the moment and then on this one it is adventure which is not on there now I'm just going to show you now that I've got one card each I can then go for instance with this one I can say oh a beach card I want to trade that with somebody now the problem is no one else has a beach card so they will say we don't want it so, and you have to outline what you want and what you're offering when you do your trade still now you can dump two cards and you can effectively say to another player I want to take a card from you they go into the discard pile now the discard pile it says in the game quite clearly you should have a little pile here of your cards and then you should have your discard pile next to it um, yeah I, th I think that's probably the best way of doing it I've not got on next to the board a little cluttered but effectively what you're doing is you're basically dropping a card and then you are dropping two cards and then stealing one card from sorry it's drop one card sorry and then take one card it's discard two cards if you want to recycle and then you take one from the discard pile if you wish pretty clear um, I think that that's pretty succinct and pretty simple when you've got your for instance in this case the language beach and uh, party cards you then trade those in and you can you get that card with your passport and then you move on to getting India and once you get India you win the game you can put more places to, to travel to if you wish and um, that adds to the adventure somewhat as well right I'm now going to go and um, do the review but just before I do just to say these add different elements to it so you, what I would recommend is it's like um, games like museum which we're, we're going to be reviewing shortly and I played it so that's how come I know but effectively I was to recommend one at a time so add in this as well to, to make the these are special cards then you can add in these postcards which make it just um, uh, as interesting and then you've got the collector cards as well so each one of them adds a different um, sort of note to the game I would probably say start with the postcard then move to the collector and finish off them with these cards because that does make it completely different uh, game experience anyway join us as we will now go and review itchy feet um, if I'm perfectly honest, this is this is a, a game which I think can cover many different bases. Uh, I've just I've just seen on the thing here. I think on the box it suggests two to six players, age eight up. Yeah, I would. I'm going to say definitely six players. It plays very well with. Um, no more than that. I think under three is a bit more difficult because when you've got two, it, it's a bit dull because effectively there's no real. Um, slow way of uh, sorry there's no real um, easy way of playing the game in the sense of you basically will get the cards and you'll win it's as simple as that sounds annoying and it is annoying so I would say three to six is what would be preferred the thing about the time 20 to 30 minutes the basic game the basic game takes about 25 minutes uh, that's for us and we've we played that twice uh, then we played three more games each in adding in the layers of complexity i.e. the extensions um, the first one it took about half an hour didn't add much to it the second one which was then to do characters that was about 40 minutes because there's little bits that you can add with the characters which make it a little bit more interesting and slightly duplicitous because you can be a bit naughty and then the third with additional cards that took almost an hour 
and in fact actually it's quite fun because uh, if you've got six players it really draws you in and also and this is something which I think for people who for instance are going away on holidays the thing about the game what it is is it gives you a different experience not every time there is sort of consistent cards that pop up but enough that it, it's quite fun and quite interesting and I think anyone who likes traveling anyone who likes adventure or anyone who likes a game where the kind of it's not too serious and the family can sit and play this is a really good game really good indeed um, I'm, I'm a massive fan and I would say that G games deserve real credit for this um, and I just want to uh, sort of Ginger Fox games I just want to sort of scream out um, Malachi Ray, Ray Rempen uh, sorry if I haven't pronounced your name correctly but what a wonderful wonderful game you've created there this is very love the work love the the concept love the ideas inside it really think this is something that will add value um i d don't know if you could expand on it further i think you pretty much got to the the final point here but i i for one and i think a lot of people like myself are very excited at what's coming next from uh, ginger fox games um so that was Itchy Feet. Definitely buy it if you can. Really good game. Uh, I'm Simon Kendi and this was Game Club and thank you for watching.